I've got some crucial insights to share about the stock market that you won't hear in the mainstream media. You see, the stock market has been on a roller coaster ride lately, and it's time to take a closer look at what's driving this wild ride and what it means for your investments. Now, when it comes to the stock market, it's primarily influenced by three key factors hype, corporate earnings, and monetary policy. These three pillars determine the market's direction, and it's essential to understand how they're currently affecting it. The first pillar can significantly impact the stock market. Remember the AI hype that was driving stocks earlier this year? The media was buzzing about how AI would revolutionize the economy. But here's the truth. Since July, the AI frenzy has been gradually losing steam, leaving us all wondering, where's the AI revolution we were promised? It seems we're not talking about a far-off future, but the here and now, and it's all just the same. My audacious prediction? The true AI revolution is lurking around the corner, and it'll take a tad longer to unfold. Now, remember the Federal Reserve's supposed interest rate cuts in July 2023? Well, the months kept changing. September, November, and now March 2024. This ever-elusive Fed pivot has now settled on Q3 2024. The truth has surfaced. Longer-lasting higher interest rates are on the horizon. I've always believed that no interest rate cuts would happen in 2023, and I'm sticking to this. So keep your eyes peeled on this prediction on the Fed pivot. The second pillar, corporate earnings, is essential for driving stock market performance. If companies rake in big profits, they can engage in stock buybacks, which can give stocks a boost. Alternatively, these profits can translate into more substantial dividends, also music to an investor's ears. But here's the twist. Corporate profits have been in a slump for the past nine months, with three consecutive quarters of declines. Well, the third quarter corporate profit reports aren't that reassuring either. So far, we've witnessed a 0.4% decline in profits for 20% of S&P 500 companies that have reported. More companies are handing out negative guidance than positive. And that's not coming from me. It's straight from the sources. You'd think all is fine when the Federal Reserve of Atlanta predicts a 5.4 GDP growth for Q3, up to 5.1% just days ago. But more households are struggling to pay their bills, delinquencies and defaults are trending upwards, and corporate profits are sinking. A positive GDP looks splendid on paper, but it's not a guaranteed ticket to stock market success when corporate profits are spiraling. Fair's fair. Let's acknowledge that, on paper, the stock market doesn't seem overvalued. The S&P 500's forward 12-month P.E. ratio sits at 17.7, .7, quite close to its 10-year average of 17.5. But don't get too comfortable. The Q4 corporate profit projections are worth a laugh. Analysts are declaring a 6.7% profit surge for the next quarter. However, let me share a little secret with you. Analysts often tweak their projections multiple times as we approach earnings season. They set the bar so low that companies often beat these deliberately low expectations. It's a truth no one in mainstream media dares to utter. But imagine if I got invited to the big shows and spilled the beans on how analysts manipulate the system. I'd probably get the boot. So don't be fooled by the smoke and mirrors. Corporate profits have been sliding for nine months. And the game is afoot. Now let's talk about the grand puppeteer of the stock market, monetary policy, masterminded by the Federal Reserve. If you're new here or a tad green when it comes to these matters, let me enlighten you. The United States economy is far from a free market. It's orchestrated by the Federal Reserve, a private entity. The grand plan became apparent after 2008 and got a turbo boost in 2020. Here's a prime example. In 2020, despite lockdowns, plummeting GDP, and rising unemployment, the stock market soared by 16%. Now, you might think this boost was rooted in solid fundamentals, but in reality, it was the Federal Reserve's trillions in cash injections that did the trick. We saw the same script play out in the housing market. The Federal Reserve printed trillions, and what did we get? Home prices shot up by around 30%. And when they decided to pull the monetary policy levers and raise interest rates, voila, home prices stopped their upward climb. So keep in mind, the Federal Reserve isn't just messing with stocks. 
They're diving into the labor market as well. They're on a quest to keep wage inflation in check, citing their dual mandates as the reason to manipulate the labor market as they please. Their grand plan? Get the labor market just right? And then presto, they'll stop their shenanigans. And if you think this is where it stops, think again. From stocks to bonds, housing, currency, labor markets, and the broader economy? The Federal Reserve holds all the strings. They can make the stock market dance to their tune, pushing it higher or lower with ease. And what's intriguing is that the Federal Reserve's obsession with the stock market is no secret. Just read their Fed minutes, and it's all laid out for you. They're not independent, they're calling the shots. Now let's look into quantitative tightening, or QT, the stock market's slow poison. Every month, QT makes it an uphill battle for stocks. If you want to see the extent of the Federal Reserve's power, just check out the New York Federal Reserve SOMA website. In September, they went all out, tightening around $80 billion. In October, things seem to have slowed down a bit, but we're not out of the woods yet. Now, why should you care about QT? Because it's the Federal Reserve's way of letting bonds mature and roll off. This means that the US government has to find more buyers for its bonds. Foreign countries like China aren't exactly jumping with joy to buy more. And institutions can only do so much. So QT makes the bonds a more attractive alternative to stocks because of the higher yields. But the intriguing twist is that everyone's so obsessed with the federal funds rate that they've conveniently forgotten about QT. Supposedly, the Federal Reserve plans to keep QT running throughout 2024. And that's not exactly great news for US bonds, which spells trouble for the stock market as stocks will have to compete with higher yields for capital. As for the Fed pivot, well, you can forget about it happening in 2023. I've been adamant that it wouldn't happen, and two meetings remain this year, November 1st and December 13th. I'm sticking to my prediction. Don't hold your breath for lower interest rates anytime soon. The pivot has been pushed from March 2023 to July 2024. That's a long way off, and the Federal Reserve seems content with stocks heading lower. You don't challenge the Fed. The Federal Reserve might not crash the stock market, as that would trigger a retirement crisis. But they're certainly not opposing a market dip. So here's a historical nugget. The stock market tends to decline after the Federal Reserve begins cutting interest rates. But it's not the rate cuts that send it spiraling. Something else is amiss. The Fed reacts with cuts, but it's often too little too late. So keep your eyes on the Federal Reserve, but also stay vigilant about corporate earnings and never underestimate the influence of hype, which can spark short-term volatility and speculative fever. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you found this information valuable and thought-provoking. Remember, your insights, questions, and comments are the lifeblood of this channel. If you've got any questions or want to share your thoughts about today's topic, don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. We're always here to engage in meaningful discussions and address your questions. So go ahead, type away, and let's keep this conversation going. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We're always here to provide you with a unique perspective that you won't find in the mainstream media. Thank you for your support and happy investing!